Welcome to Decoded, where we break down all the best strats and plays from the Valorant Champions Tour to help you dominate your ranked games. Today we're looking at how to execute a perfect site hold with examples from Valorant Masters EU Winners Ascend and of course the superstar Cened. In the last map of the Grand Finals, Ascend were in the lead, but Heretics were starting to mount a comeback and Ascend desperately needed to shut that down. Also note, this was a save round for Ascend, which means they didn't have enough credits to buy rifles or the powerful weapons they could be desiring. So it was going to need some magic to make this happen, but luckily for Ascend, they've got seen it. As we break down this play, we're going to be learning some key strats for you to be bringing into your games. But for example, how to effectively hold angles on a site, team fight coordination, individual positioning, and resource management. With all that said, Let's dive right in. The play begins when Ascend gets the spike planted on Ascent A site. Ascend start their hold by dumping utility onto the door between A site and tree in an attempt to lock heretics out from entering the site then. This limits the angles Ascend needs to watch just down to two, A main and A heaven. A main is covered by Cold Dementor with assistance from CNED and Killers from Hell, who are also listening out for footsteps on Heaven. Starkso holds from the back corner of the site to cover Tree in case Heretics decides to push through the utility. Make note of their positions here. You may want to try holding these similar angles yourself when defending Ascent A site. Now that Ascend have the site locked down, let's take a look at what Heretics are up to. As soon as the spike gets planted, the members of Heretics on B site begin to rotate over towards A. Foam Cold from Ascend lurks in mid, hoping to catch them on their way over towards the spike. Cold and Mentor push it through a main, hoping to do the same. Unfortunately for them, Heretics have already grouped up by the site at this point, putting them in a 5v3 against Ascend players still on site. Lau and Avova from Heretics kick things off by entering through a door and picking off Stark Zone. Killers hears those footsteps in heaven and swings out for the fight, but Pora is already ready and waiting. Pora gets the kill, and now Ascend are down two in just a matter of seconds. Bone Cold attempts to flank the players at a door from mid, but he isn't able to get the kills. Luckily, CNED lands his shot from hell and takes out Lau. Bone Cold now has vision on both Avova and Pora on site. He sends out a massive paranoia that blinds both of them, setting up CNED for two easier kills. This was an essential play by Bone Cold, and it's a great example of how you can creatively use your abilities to support your teammates when you're out of range for a gunfight. After his kill on Pora, CNED hears more footsteps in heaven and knows they're about to drop down. He dashes to the opposite side of hell in hopes of catching them off guard. During this, Rubino catches Bone Cold, who revealed his location with the paranoia. The fight is now down to an even 2v2, but it won't stay that way for long. Rubino also finds a kill on Cold and Mentor while still on heaven, leaving CNED the last man standing. At the same time, Nuki drops down for the kill, but it's CNED who once again comes out on top. With only one kill away from the ace, CNED finds himself in a tricky position. The clip in his Vandal is empty, and his only ability is Updraft, which won't do him much good in hell. CNED could reload here, but doing so would risk leaving him open and vulnerable to Rubino, who he knows is just above and ready to strike. CNED instead opts to bet it all on his classic, a great choice considering Rubino decides to drop down immediately, and that reload would have cost him the round. His strong resource awareness saved him from what could have been a disaster. A great reminder to always keep an eye out on your ammo. But don't take it from me. Let's toss it over to CNED to hear what was going through his head during the play. This pick towards Lull, on towards the side, they see it, but CNED, that's one, that's two, the third falls into play. O an kafamdan neler geçiyordu gerçekten hatırlamıyorum çünkü öyle bir baskı altında comeback yiyoruz ve bir şey düşünmek gerçekten zor sadece e, takım arkadaşlarımız dörtlediği için arkadan geldikleri için onlara zaman kazandırmamız lazım da en güvenli yer olan Underhaven'a yerleştim ve orada e, güvenli bir pozisyonda kalmaya çalıştım onlar gelene kadar ondan sonra ilk Sage'i öldürdükten sonra saklandım saklanmaya devam ettim sonra bonk oldum flash'i geldi ve Oyuncular flash'tan kaçmaya çalışırken benim önüme düştüler. Ondan sonra Reyna Heaven'dan atladı. 
E, Reyna'yı öldürdükten sonra mermim bitti, saklandım ve kilisiye geçtim. Çünkü kilisinin sağ tıkı e, yakın mesafeden biraz bozuk açıkçası. Thanks, Zined. Now let's see how it all shook out. The fight that ensues isn't pretty. Both players miss their first shots, which presumably leaves Rubino with an empty clip on his vandal. He takes lightning fast cover to switch to his pistol, but now he's the one at the disadvantage. Both players are on their classics, but CNED has just a tiny bit more health. This allows him to tank a hit while he lands two perfectly placed jumping right clicks on Rubino, securing the ace and the round. Now that we've broken down the play, let's take a moment to recap what we've learned. If you can't cover all angles of a site, try stack some abilities on one of them to dissuade the enemies from approaching from that side. If you're out of range to help support your teammates in a gunfight, try getting creative with your abilities to set them up for success. Patience and confidence are key in a teamfight. Trust your gut on your positionings and don't take unnecessary peaks or risks. Always be mindful of your resources. A poorly timed reload could be life or death for you in a clutch situation. Try bringing these pro strats into your next ranked match and see how your game improves. Thank you so much for checking out this episode of Decoded. Be sure to tune into the VCT to learn more pro strats to bring into your ranked games. Now, if you don't know when those matches are going down or when the schedule is, I've got you, don't worry. Head over to valorantesports.com. It's got everything you'd need on there. And hopefully, with all that said, we'll see you next time for more tips and tricks direct from the VCT pros.